Well, hello again everyone. It's been over a week since I worked on this helmet for Chaz because uh, Nicky and I both had Covid but uh, I'm feeling a bit better now so let's take a look at it and see where we're at. We can see a lot of the masking tape has started to peel away a little bit. I think I'm going to take all this masking tape off and start again. You might also be able to see there is a bit of a scratch in the helmet. So uh, I need to probably get some filler in that. Let's begin though by taking that old masking tape off. Yeah, so you can perhaps see the sticky residue that that masking tape has left. Uh, that was what I was worried about. Didn't really want uh, to leave it on there that long, but uh, obviously the old sickness overtook me. So, yeah, let's uh, see if we can clean that off. There's also a couple of little areas where the primer's um, found its way under the tape a little bit. So, I'm just going to tape that off with a blade. You ready for a demon? I got eyes in the back of my head. I'm seeing take me for granted and you know I'm leaving. I'm going to take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feeling. Well, I've been looking at this helmet a little bit more closely and I've found out how you remove the peak which is uh, handy and I've also managed to partially remove the liner but I don't think I can remove it any further which is uh, weird so yeah I don't want to dismantle it too much I don't want to force anything so I'll put this liner back because I can't get it all the way out but it will be handy not to have to worry about this peak so much Right, let's mix up some filler and sort out that little scratch. Right, now we need to let that dry for 20 minutes or so before sanding it smooth again. I think when I do that, I'll bring in a little bit over these um, rivets as well. I'll sand them off a little bit too because... Uh, this masking them off is, is not really working. It's very, very difficult to get the masking right there. So I think I'm going to bring them in with the rest of the helmet. Well, it's actually the next day. I never managed to get back to this yesterday. So uh, this filler's had a good old chance to harden up. So I'm going to get onto this now with some 600 grit paper. I'm going to use that dry and just uh, get this sanded down. Get rid of all the high bits and that high filler. Got a cork block to use as well when I get rid of the worst of it. So there we go, there is that crack filled and uh, nicely sanded off and as I mentioned last time I'm just going to go over these little rivet things as well because I'm going to catch them in with the next coat of primer I put over Now there is still a bit of sticky residue from that masking tape that was on there way too long while uh, we had COVID. So I'm just going to clean that off with some meths. Now I need to uh, prime this again of course and first I need to mask it up so I'm going to make use of this um, fine line tape to try and get the masking a little bit better this time.
I've got an itch I can't scratch. I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me. An open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody. All right, let's get this another whiz over with some primer. I've been living in my own head, constantly thoughts jumbled round. Think I need a new lobotomy. Wait. All these thoughts are too negative. I don't want to get lost in the sedative. Got to show them what I got. I'm competitive. You know I'm about to go off. I won't let them win. All right, now that'll need 24 hours to harden up before we sand that off again.